You did good, Jumbo. Mm -hmm. Now take a shower and uh, see if you can lose 20 pounds on the way, huh? Hey, I'm at my best fighting weight. <laughs> Give me a title shot. <laughs> How about that, good? Yeah, well, you're dropping your left when you come in. Yeah, well, nobody's perfect. Uh-huh. You can't see your left. It's not in front of your face. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, take my gloves off. Sure as hell not. We're in the gym. No matter how great you think you are, you still owe me five rounds of shadow boxing. Hey, don't go to there! Come on! Hey, 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 get the boiler! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! I think you'll have to postpone that title fight. I think I got a busted rib. Okay, okay, tools are a write-off. Uniforms you can deduct. But designer clothes you have to pay full dollar for. A woman has a right to look her very best. Well, then you also have a right to be poor. Short of cash, not poor, there's a difference. Only to you. Besides needing the money, you have to take this case. You have an obligation. To who? To me, Lyman Shackleford, and to the business. When you bought it from me, you also bought my clients. What clients? There were any. If there were any, I'd have you paid off and out of my life. That is not fair. You do that all the time, just to change the subject. We have a mutual obligation to take this case. The answer is no. I know nothing about boxing, and I don't care to learn at this stage of my life. Mama is looking for help. Not a partner or a lightweight contender. Fast becoming a middleweight. Now, see what I mean? I know that's an insult, but I don't know enough about boxing to know how mad to get. Take the case yourself. I'm retired. How can you expect me to unretire just because you have a desire to remain ignorant? I am a private investigator, not a referee. You're setting me up. Setting you up? I'm helping you. Helping you earn the money, so you can pay me what you owe me for buying the business in the first place. Now that is being a friend. Hey, you. I'll consider it a personal favor. I'll owe you one, okay? But just one. I'll be late with this month's payment on the note. Again. Okay, okay. I accept. Not because you need it, but because she is waiting.
Cassie? Mama Ryan. Mama Ryan, Cassie. Holland. Okay. So neither one of us owns an apron. You want to do business or not? <laughs> you don't look like there's much you couldn't handle yourself. Why me? I own a string of fighters and a gym, and there's been a series of mishaps lately. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're accidents. What kind of mishaps? Small stuff at first. Uh, some vandalism, petty theft, some stairs that broke down, an electrical fire. Annoying things that cost money. Nothing else. This last time, though, the hot water heater blew up. Almost took Jumbo with it. I'm almost afraid to ask. What's a jumbo? <laughs> He's an over-the-hill fighter who still has a brain and a memory, and he takes care of everything for me, except the books. Have you considered going to the police? They work a lot cheaper, and they usually know what they're doing. Fighters off-duty and cops on-duty don't mix. A lot of my boys have records, and if the cops start coming around the gym, my fighters wouldn't. And the same thing goes for the Boxing Commission. And unwritten rules and laws don't necessarily apply to me. Your rules are yours. Mine are mine. You want to sit? Are your enemies a secret, too? <laughs> Public information. I even made a list. There's uh, three loan sharks, two other managers, one promoter, an ex-husband who really hates me. If that's not enough, there's the city who wants to take over my property and the landlord who's trying to break a 50-year lease. Mm. Now, is that enough to start out with or uh, should we go back another 10 years? <sighs> One decade at a time. $2,000 is a very nice retainer. Look, and you don't need a private cop. I mean, he's just going to take your money. He's a chief. And I hired her after the explosion. That was one accident too many. Uh, it was an old heater. And an old fighter. And they were both working pretty well. Oh, hey. So, Mama, why don't you throw in the towel? Now, forget all that hassle of trying to keep a gym and a bunch of deadbeats alive. I don't think I heard you right. You don't need it anymore. Well, I don't. Well, exactly what is it I do need? Me. <laughs> Look, you've already got me, so why don't you pack the old dump in? Give it up, Mama, please. Jimmy. Look, I'm first rate. You know I am. Name another guy who comes closer to being a top contender than me. Name one. It's not about that. Well, then what is it about? I'm ready to move up. And when I do, I'm going right to the top. And then... I love you. I'll be able to take care of you, and I will. Believe that. Jimmy, I do believe it. And it's what I want. But... It's not everything I want. There's two things I love. You and that smelly old gym. Yeah. You've been shut up there half your life. Exactly. And if I close up now, what will guys like Jumbo do when they've got nothing left to offer? Hmm? And what about guys like you? <laughs> if I do say so myself, you got lucky. You came to me. Think what would be happening to you now if you'd gone to Zecca or Swinton or Joe Princess. <laughs> you'd be a top contender, all right. The meat grinder. You'd be fighting out of your league. Getting punched around? That goes with the territory. I mean, I've got to take my chances like everybody else. But, Mama, let me make it as big as I can, as fast as I can for us. You're not ready. Jimmy, you're only 23 years old. Mathematically, I really could be your little mama. But things are going good for us. Let me bring you along slow and easy. You'll make it to the top. You got a lot of time. Yeah, well, it just doesn't feel that way. Trust me. As much as you want to take care of me, that's how much I want to take care of you. And more. I'll get to that dentist for that mouthpiece. You gotta keep you pretty. Push it hard. It hurts. It's supposed to hurt. No pain, no gain. Who says? You were Hitler. It really is good for you, Meryl. Don't talk. Save your breath. She means shut up. 
or Eva Braun. It's not enough. I have to do everything from cooking to cleaning. We have cockroaches. I complain. What do I hear? Spray, Meryl, spray. Do you promise to take it with you when you go? You promise to fill me in on Mama Ryan? Hey, you guys go. I'm going to stop sweating. Well, will you stop talking while we talk? Only groans, I promise. Okay. Mama Ryan is a second generation legend. Her father was a manager, trainer, promoter, kept boxing alive around there when there was no television jackpots. He died at 60 for living like he was 20. She took the insurance money, bought the gym and jumbo. She making a lot of money? It deserves to, but she really just makes a living. She's the softest touch in town for any guy with a flat nose and zippers over his eyes. She's quite a lady. You sound like you think a great deal of her. I do. Oh. Regular people don't do that. I'm regular. Small, but regular. Good. Then strain for me in silence, or I'll feed you to the bodybuilders. Come here. Which one of these guys would like to see Mama out of business? <laughs> I don't know. Probably all of them. I have a cramp in my pack. Breathe deep. The fight game is its own religion. I'm an outsider, you know? I don't really know that much more about it than any other outsider. Mama must have filled you in. Well, she told me about the accidents, nothing about theology. Yeah, accidents happen a lot sometimes. Broken hands, broken eyes. Fighters not showing up for their matches. Stories nobody ever hears about. You heard them, and Mama seems to have survived it. Well, she can take care of herself. It's part of her life. She grew up in it. Mm-hmm. And now what about me? You're a rookie. You be careful. Hey, Jimmy, my man. Good to see you. Drink the champ of ginger ale. Oh, no, thanks. I don't want anything. I said, I want to talk to you for a minute. They're both free. Go ahead. You came to tell me that uh, Mama Ryan's ready to call it quits, right? No. I came to tell you that she hired a private cop named a Cassie something, a chick. And she's supposed to look into things. And I'm asking you why Jumbo nearly got blown up. He could have gotten killed. He wasn't, was he? Well, I think I want to call this whole thing off. Think again, kid. We weren't keeping no secrets from you. You put yourself in. Yeah, well, you were just supposed to put pressure on her, get it to a place where she would sell so you could buy her out. You want to stick around Mama Ryan's soap opera and play star? You let your big shot pass you right by. I got you booked to fight Sonny Jensen. He's a number five contender. A TV deal with a bonus attached to the purse. You want it or not? Yeah, I want it. We got nothing else to talk about. I'll take care of Mama Ryan and a private lady cop if she gets in the way. Could we please get on with that information on the explosion at Ryan's gym? Yes. Spark. Boom. Okay. I'm properly impressed with your cynicism and impatience. So would you be good enough to drop the kindergarten explanation and move right along to the grown-up stuff? You're okay, lady. Because there was a gas leak at the pilot, the gas continued to build up. When the showers were turned on, there was a demand for more hot water. The thermostat clicked on. And the burners ignited the excess gas. And, and went boom. You got it. What else? Was it accidental or not? As far as I'm concerned, it is. A uh, leaking valve is common. Would you say that if you knew there'd been other incidents, not unlike this one? This is the only one I've been officially notified of. The case is in the closed file. And that's it? That's all you're going to do about it? Right. Unless you can bring me further information or evidence to the contrary. You're the expert. That's right. But feel free to go look at the boiler. Maybe you can find something we experts missed. I'll do just that. I hope you realize you're interfering with my life. I only sold you the business so I could have some time to myself. Well, some life, you're either sleeping or playing poker. I'm well aware of my choices. They are few. But prime. Listen, you got me into this, and you owe me a favor. You've collected already. You're late with this month's payment, remember? How about I don't make it at all? Then you can foreclose on me, and this case can be all yours. We've been over that already now. What else do you want from me? 
You have the dietary habits of a teenager. I'll apologize if you listen while you munch. Well, I'm a three-munch man. Go. I've checked out the people on the list Mama gave me. The guy named Grebs is a loan shark. A high roller and definitely not one to mess with. Mm-hmm. A couple of these other guys are loan sharks, too. All you have to see is Grebs. And there's Ralphie Zecca and someone named Swinton. Flight managers. Yeah, I know. Hey, you don't need me. You're doing fine. The guy I can't get a fix on is the ex-husband. All I know about him is that he exists. You might check up on a guy named Iggy Eldridge. He's doing three to five on bum checks. Well, no great loss. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. There's a half a dozen other guys on here. I don't recognize any of them. Like I say, I'm retired. Why don't you check him out with your DA husband? He's right there in the mainstream. My ex-DA husband. Or is it my DA ex-husband? You work it out, huh? It was your decision. Personally, I like the guy. I guess you still do, too, or you wouldn't be messing around with him every once in a while. Where the hell are my chocolate bars? Where's Mr. Grebb's office? Thank you. I'd like to see Mr. Grebb's, please. Never heard of him. My name is Holland. I was told he was inside. It's a nice name. Somebody lied. I know a cold word. Would that help? Lady, give it up. Whatever words you know, you don't know the right How about one. Mama Ryan? I heard. Please show her in. Miss Holland, I can offer you coffee, uh, wine, soft drink, lunch, if you'd like to wait for half an hour, but I'm having espresso. Nothing wrong with that. Is something wrong, Miss Holland? Well, I was expecting, you know. Uh, a D's and damn guy? Uh-huh. Well, I don't want to disappoint you. Would you like your arms or legs broke? About some answers instead. Mama Ryan owes you a lot of money, doesn't she? Oh, about 20, 30,000 on the books. But I would never cause her any trouble. $30,000 can cause a lot of trouble. Why not to Mama Ryan? I'm not used to having things I say repeated. I'm not an echo. I come from the same neighborhood as the Ryans. Old man Ryan, he put me in the ring, and he let me get smacked around a little bit, and then he pulled me out before I really got hurt. And he's the one who talked me into going respectable. This is respectable? For a crook, this is respectable. Uh, even on my way up, he still had to bail me out a couple of times. Mama did the patchwork. She was a real beauty. But Mama doesn't owe me a thing. The old man borrowed the money, you see, and the, the debt died with him. It's a street rule. Someone is trying to wreck Mama's gin. And they're not very interested in what happens to her along the way. I'll look into it. In the meantime, I'll have uh, one of my people walk you back to your car. This is no neighborhood for a lady. Uh, Miss Holland, if Mama needs any money, you will let me know. Why don't you ask her yourself? Because a long time ago, she told me to butt out of her business and out of her life. Joey, would you escort Miss Holland back to her car? Zeka. 
Mrs. Krebs. Okay, what can I do for you? I've heard that little mama is having some trouble. What's the matter? One of the pugs crying on your shoulder? No. Came from a neutral. A lady cop told me. What's that got to do with me? Man, you better hope nothing. I'm gonna be coming around to visit you personally. I'll be calling a lot of people. You were just the first. Why me? I did it alphabetically. Go get Lee. You got work to do. Mama Ryan again? Oh, it's that lady cop she hired. I don't know where she's getting her info from, but she's starting to stir up a lot of aggravation for me. What do you want me to do? Find her, scare her, hurt her. Do whatever you gotta do, but get her off this case and out of my life. I've been saved. I found the Lord one night while I was eating a bowl of soup. Split pea. The way I hear it, you and Mama didn't have the friendliest of divorces. That's the laws of man. God still considers us united. In his eyes, she's my wife. Well, for the past few months, your divorced wife has had a lot of problems. Someone's been trying to put her out of business. Not me. The thought has occurred to me, but only in my prayers, however. Would you mind telling me exactly what part of town you do your praying in? Well away from that gym. Anyway, for the past six months, I've been at the SUFS. The what? Save us from Satan. The Rehabilitation Center in Tucson, Arizona. I never left the ground. I can check that out. I was locked in. God's will. Hallelujah, brother. Thank you. Okay, that's her. Hang in close. Letter word for Corinthians trio. Cross or down? Cross. Do down. Down is a 23 letter word. Why don't you take up knitting? It's quiet and we don't have to do it as a team. Boy, are you grouchy today. Am I going to have to live with this every day or are you just practicing your imitation of Shackelford? Don't start with your misunderstood employee routine. And I'm not grouchy, I'm concerned. This uh, Mama Ryan thing really has you stumped, doesn't it? Yes. The list of her enemies turns out to be like a fan club. I'm exactly where I was two days ago. Check the list again. If Mama Ryan is as strong and classy as you say she is, then she's got people after her skin. I've never met a tough guy of either sex that didn't have enemies. Skip the crosswords, Meryl. Write a book. Write a book, she says. Most days, I don't have time to go to lunch. Or even to go to the bathroom. Which reminds me. Uh, is Mr. Swinton there, please? All right, come on, watch your pace. I want you on your toes. We're working calves today. Up to the top of the hill, the same pace coming down this side of the hill over here. You told me on the phone it was business. You're asking me personal stuff. I asked you if you were a competitor of Mama Ryan's. Competition. Same type operation, same buck. That's business, not personal. Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't explain it that good first time. Come on, on your toes. What's the matter with you guys? Come on, there's a pace. I want to see some action here. We're working calves. The same pace coming down is going up. 
You know, you don't keep your eye on these guys. They don't do no running at all. Now, what'd you want to know, lady? I was told you'd like to see Mama Ryan out of action. Who told you that? That ain't the truth. I mean, I may not like the broad, but that's OK. I never liked the old man either. But I need her to stay in business. I mean, there ain't that many small fight clubs around. We stay alive by staging cards against each other till we come up with a contender. Any of those a contender? Two punching bags and a dancer. Mama's got one, though. A guy by the name of Jimmy Marco. <laughs> she let him out of the sack long enough, she could move him into the big money. I sure as hell would. Uh... Well, thanks. Stop, you guys. On your toes. You guys on a break or something, huh? Come on! We losers. I got about uh, $30. Want my watch? Go to her car! Drop it. Then on the ground, face down. You ain't shooting nobody. My partner's still around. You betting on a standoff? You picked the wrong friends, lady. And Mama was a bad choice. Hey, guys! neighborhood for a lady. Would you mind, mind walking me to my car? Oh, wait a second. Sorry. You guys are really in shape. Your husband's on his way up. He's no longer my husband. <laughs> Better tell him. Are you all right? You're not hurting me. I'm fine. All it cost me was a shoe and a pair of pantyhose. You sure? About the shoe or the pantyhose? Now, don't make fun of me. You were being chased by a couple of hoods. Now, what the hell were you doing in that snake pit park anyway? Well, I wasn't planning on a mugging, but it did get me through the afternoon. And they didn't yell at me. I have a right to yell. I was worried. If you'd quit the business instead of the marriage, we wouldn't be arguing about this. No, we'd be arguing about something more important than three little minutes out of my life. Oh, look at the face on this one. I bet he screams at women, too. He's a burglar. He did a lot more than scream. That's his profession. I'm talking about his private life. Like you're a district attorney, but you're supposed to forget that when you're out of court and talking to someone who isn't under indictment. You want me to apologize? I will. You want me to change? Well, <laughs> I could try. You did try, and you couldn't. And I tried, and I can't. Oh, I don't want to get into this. Michael, we've done it all. We've said it all. There's, there's no need to go over it again. Well, even that burglar got a chance at the Court of Appeals. You're too much. I happen to know women are chasing you through supermarkets. Well, I'd slow down a little if I knew that one of them was you. You in any condition for a sprint? I was today. I was good. What were you doing in that zoo called a park? I had to interview a fight manager by the name of Swinton. You know him? S that pig? You know him. Well, why do you... 
Yeah, I know him. His name came up when we were investigating all-star promotions. Joe Princess was the one we were really after. It was right after Princess had promoted one of the first of his million-dollar championships. You could smell it across town. I don't remember hearing anything about that. Well, there was nothing to hear. Swinton was a nobody, and Princess turned out to be the cleanest part of the whole fight operation. He was the only one who came even close to telling the truth. You're saying he's an honest man? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Let's say it's all relative. Ah, oh, I've had enough pictures for now. I'd rather have a shower. Good idea. I'll drive you home and do the scrubbing. <laughs> I have a car and a brush. I'll hold the soap, the towel. Run the water. <laughs> I'll wash the car. We'll have lunch on Thursday. Dinner tonight. Tomorrow night. Miss Holland. Joe Princess. I don't usually get social calls from a private detective whose ex-husband has previously tried to indict me. Therefore, I've assumed you're not here for sex or a long-running friendship. That being the case, what do you want? I'm on an investigation of some fight business, and your name came up. Well, that's normal. My name comes up every time a bell rings. I don't know exactly why you're here or what's on your mind. I'll give you straight answers or none at all, but... Things have a way of repeating themselves out of context. That can cause me grief and expense. I have a method of protecting myself from that. We're both on tape now, miss. That's just for a legal notification. I understand this conversation is being recorded. Do you have any business involvements with little Mama Ryan? I've used a couple of her fighters for prelims. Won't you have a seat? They're not that good, but they're usually in shape. Mama's been having a lot of trouble. Accidents, pressures, threats. So? I thought maybe you knew something about it. Or that if I was the one doing it, it would stop now. Could be. People like Mama Ryan and her gym are minor league. They're not important enough for me to consider going after. Besides, Mama can take care of herself. Mama takes care of everybody but herself. Now I'm taking care of Mama. I don't manage, train, or own a fighter. I don't want to. I'm a promoter and only a promoter. I arrange events for a profit. I'd put a gorilla in the ring with a bear if the laws would allow it, and I could fill an arena and sell the TV rights. I don't care who fights who, who kills who, who wins, who loses, as long as it happens in front of a full house. You don't strike me as the kind of man who just sits and waits for the perfect match to drop in his lap. Well, I may bid to get two special fighters in the ring. There's nothing better than finding yourself a new white hope. It's a natural. Would uh, someone like Jimmy Marco be considered a hope? Marco is a possible. In fact, I just signed him for the TV package with a ranked fighter. Doesn't Mama handle Marco? Ralph Zecca. Is Jimmy Marco's manager. As you can see, that's a copy of the agreement between the two of them. Signed, sealed, and notarized. Mama Ryan has nothing to do with Jimmy's career. Nothing. Nada. Take this gear over to Ace, will you? Tell him we need something back by tomorrow. No, I don't think it'd be any problem. Hello, lady. Everything okay? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Jimbo. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the lady wants to talk to me. What's he worried about? You saw the same look on your face I did. Give me the bad first. It's all bad. You want to talk about it here? This is where it started. It's 
Jimmy Marco. He signed with Zecca for Princess to promote him against Sonny Jensen. Looks like he sold you out, Mama. How sure are you? Right down to the notarized signature. I think you knew. Maybe. I don't know. I, I thought... I hoped... I'm sorry. You know about him and me? It's no big secret. I mean, nobody talks about it. Nobody's lashing at you, but everybody knows. Sure. It wasn't just a case of an older woman taking up with a stud. That's not my way. I knew it might not make any sense, but I went into it with my eyes oh, open. Oh, okay, listen. Oh. oh, well, I was alone. He was lonely. We pleased each other. I felt like I was getting younger. Turned myself back into a girl, so he could be a man. You don't have to explain to me. You don't have to explain to anyone. Yeah, well, I wanted to tell you. See, I haven't been with uh, many men in my life. Jimmy came along with those innocent eyes and that tight skin at just the right time. <laughs> I used to think men were fools for doing the same thing. But I made it right. It could still be right. Well, it's not the first time I got hung up on a losing situation. So this time it's a greedy pug. Another time it was a lush. The first one grew up to be a Shylock. I assume that one was Gribbs. You earn your fees. Well, don't come down too hard on yourself. You have a perfect right to louse up your life periodically. Most of us do. I'm hardly batting a thousand, and mine was considered the perfect marriage. See? Damn it. I still care for him. Is that dumb? You know, he stands a chance against Jensen. But he'll take a terrible beating. Zeka and Princess will burn him out in a year. He'll be done for by the time he's 25. All right, if you hold the contract, you can either go to court or to the boxing commissioner and have the fight stop. I can't do that. The whole reason for getting into this thing was to save Jimmy, not to get his license revoked. If they'd just bring him along slow and easy... Would you settle for two out of three? Sounds fair. As I see it, you have to let him fight. And you may end up his manager. You may end up even being his lover. But you have to stop being his mother. How do I do that? Well, I help. You do some, and I do some. first time I invited you. Now you're becoming a pest. I'm here to do you a favor, whether you like it or not. This time I don't intend to be a recording star. I don't want to learn any more about the fight promotion business. This time, you listen. Well, you got about 10 seconds to get me interested. I'm not going to need that long. If you want to see a Marco Jensen fight, you're going to have to make your deal with Mama Ryan. Now you've got 10 seconds. I already have a deal. And I'm not getting involved in any squabble between Mama and Zeka. Yes, you are. Maybe Mama won't go to the commission or to the DA, but I sure as hell will. I'll tie this fight up in knots. No TV, no stadium, and you stand to lose your half-million-dollar bond. Don't count my losses yet. If you're lucky, you may be able to stage a fight in an alley. I don't think you can pull it off. Try me. What? you have in mind. That's better. Hey, how's it going? All right. All right. All right. Hey. All right. Hey. Walk fast and away from me. Oh, what's the matter? I've decided to take the Jensen fight and let you get your brains beat out. Hey, Mama, let me explain. What are you going to tell me? Zeka drugged you? He held your babysitter ransom for your signature on a notarized contract? Mom, look, I didn't do it just for myself alone. I did it for us. Look, you were holding me back. You were trying to keep me safe. This was a big chance for us. You get your chance to make it big, all right. But you're going to make it big under my banner. You're going to be little Mama Ryan's boy, not Ralph Zeckett. I don't understand. 
Here, here's a dime. Call Zekka and tell him to clear out. Tell him little Mama Ryan is closing the deal with Joe Princess herself. She can't sign with Princess. We already did. No, I'm only telling her what she said. She can't pull it off unless Princess is in on it. I just don't know. I'll find out. You stay around the gym. I'll get back to you. Let's go. You two, wait outside. We got troubles. We? You and me, Princess. We're in this together. I'm in nothing with you. I signed your man for a fight. You produced a contract signed by him. All legit and straight. Now Mama Ryan tells me she holds a prior contract. I'll sign a deal with her tomorrow morning. That way I'm covered for my fight and my reputation. You two work it out. I could fix it up, but I need more time. Delay her a couple of weeks. Tomorrow morning. You have time enough tonight. Don't try it, Zach. Uh, I have more toys in this office than a tape recorder and an electric lock. I'll be back in the morning, one way or the other. If you end up with Marco's contract, just show up for the way in. Exactly. Then I suggest you wait a few minutes, then use the freight elevator. I'd thank you, but I think you really enjoyed yourself. Why not? I did what I always do. I promoted a fight. This one's between Zekka and Mama Ryan. Makes no difference to me who wins or loses. I get what I want. Congratulations. Jumbo, cut it out. Why don't you and the lady go home? Let us handle it. You can't. You don't know everything that's going on. I know everything that's gone on since Jimmy got here. And that ain't no big deal either. He's not as punchy as he tries to make everybody believe. I never thought he was. Mr. Zecca, something you want? I want Marco's contract. I'll pass on some money, but either way, I'm leaving here with it. It's not a matter of money. Not to me, at least. The answer is no. Mama, give him my contract. I'll guarantee you a cut out of my share. I'll guarantee my own cuts. I'll keep my contract. You can't break up this place and walk out with a contract. This isn't a Wild West movie. No. But if I don't get it, this place looked like San Francisco after the big quake. Say none of your business, Grebs. I was invited. You weren't. The other lady invited me. No cop or no saint. You wouldn't bring the law in, so neither did I. I didn't ask for your help. She did. You're just a spectator in this one. I warned you first. So there's no room for conversation or debate. Here's the deal. You owe 4300 for repairs. 2,000 in certain legal fees, 
They'll make that 2500 She deserves a bonus. And you throw in your copy of the Marco contract just to ensure peace and quiet. Pushing your weight on me. But if I walk in on a tennis match, you pull the pressure deal and got caught. You lose, you pay. I'll take your marker. Usual rates will prevail. You won't well shun me. So, your business is finished here. Good night, Sekka. Mm -hmm. And I do. No. You'll be expected here every morning. And that's the only place you'll be expected. And it's not morning yet, so get out. Thank you. Why? Why not? At least, owed you not to mess this one up. So we'll be there. Just listen for a minute. Um, I could come over there now. Well, because I need to know I have a friend. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hey, if you're gonna go now, I'll walk you to your car. This ain't no neighborhood for a lady. I'd love it. <laughs> 